Hey guys, it's Miranda Valentine, and today we are making a maple old-fashioned because we like things classic and old school. And it is a delicious cocktail, frankly, and super easy to make. Um, so I've got all of our stuff here. You're gonna need some bourbon. You're gonna need some bitters, a little bit of maple syrup, of course, a little bit of water, a cherry. These are actually um, bourbon soaked cherries that I made and have made a video for too, so you can check that out and do it yourself if you like. Otherwise, just a cherry and an orange peel and some ice. Super easy. And we're gonna stir it. We are not going to shake it. Um, I once I once had an incredibly romantic, it was like this rom-com situation week in London during my best friend's wedding in London in which I was the maid of honor and I had just flown over and had just decided to get divorced and met this person and he had the most amazing accent like in the world and we spent this week together and it was so romantic and anyway, he felt very, very, very firmly that you should never, ever, ever shake a cocktail because then you're bruising it. You should just gently stir it. And I have kept that in mind all these years later. Very nice idea. So we're gonna start with putting the maple syrup and the water, just using a teeny bit of water. And then we're gonna do a dash of bitters. Boop, another, okay. And <laughs> maybe that was multiple dashes. I'd rather start small and build my way up. And then we're just gonna stir this together until it's all nice and incorporated. Okay, smells lovely, all incorporated, fantastic. Now what we are going to do is grab some, I, actually what I wanna do first is my little, my little orange peel. So we're just gonna get a nice little curl, we'll plop that in. Then we are going to put some ice and if you have these fun tongs, accessories are fun, why not use it? Also check these out. So. If you go a cocktailing often, you may have noticed that they'll have kind of like nice big, either um, you know, like sphere shaped or these square ice cubes, and they're a lot of fun, right? But also they help, um, they melt more slowly, so they don't water down your drink quickly, right? Because people who are, um, you know, these amazing um, kind of cocked cocktail people who are doing, you know, incredible stuff with your drink, if it gets watered down, it throws the whole thing off. Um, you can actually make these at home super easy. You just get these little, like you can order them anywhere, um, like online or find them somewhere nearby. Um, these little silicone trays that make these nice big ones where you can get round ones and they just pop right out and it's great. So we're gonna plop that in. Then we are gonna add in our bourbon. We're gonna do about two ounces. Perfect. Then we are gonna garnish with one of these cherries. Just nuzzle that in and I like to give it a little swirl and there you go so easy god I think it's like 11 a.m. and I'm about to have a sip of this because TV not because 10 a.m. oh but you know what it is Sunday so technically brunch so that would be allowed but there you go super easy let's taste it that's really good there's like a little bit of the maple but it's not really heavy it's just replacing the traditional sugar giving it a little bit of a different feel, kind of a nice thing, um, especially for the winter. And then look, look at this cute glass. But easy, if you want the exact measurements of things, like kind of step-by-step -step instructions, head on over to randavalentine.com. I'll have it all for you there. Um, until then, I'm gonna sip on this and um, I will see you next time. Happy cooking or stirring and sipping. This is good, you guys, do you want some? <laughs> Too early.